hey this is a multi-part series and i have linked part number one in the video description down below oh and if you want to follow along you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources chat with fellow students and by the way it's completely free so let's start with video we have our data in our automation and we have joined them together but what do we do with this massive amount of data how do we make meaning from it for example looking at the payment terms how can we bring those together? That's what we'll cover in this lesson. The problem is this. If we sort on the short code, we need to memorize all the descriptions behind it. And if we want to sort on the description, well, that also doesn't work, because the sort order then is wrong. A combination of both would be good, like the code first and the speaking text right after it. And this is where the very versatile string manipulation node in Nime comes in. Let me just switch to the screen and show you how. Alright, here we are where we last left off. And now we want to work with text and text in data science are often called strings. So we want to use something that is called a string manipulation node. So let me just quickly show you where you can find it. Of course, you can always search, but let me quickly show you where you can find it. It's in the manipulation category, column, convert and replace, and you have it here. So um, let's just select the joiner node we had, and then double click the string manipulation to add it to our workflow. We just quickly give it a label. So create new call, PMT code, plus description all right and now let me open up the configuration window here we have it and that might look confusing at the beginning but it is a very neat concept of how this configuration window looks and you will find it over and over again in Nime. so on the left hand side you have the list of available columns as well as the flow variables and we will cover what flow variables are later on in the course it's an advanced topic then we have basically the functions the different things we can do with the text we have the description which is like a little help window so to say explaining each of these functions here then we have the expression which is the core of this configuration because here our formula goes in and finally we have if we want to append or replace a column plus some additional options so let's just quickly dive in here what we want to do is basically what the excel concatenate function also does or the ampersand if you use that in data cells in excel so we just go here to join because that's the function we want to use so we double click it and then it templatizes so to say how the function should look like and now we add the first column we want to have in here and that is basically the payment term code so to add it we don't have to write it out we just double click it and this specific nomenclature we see here like um, the column name encapsulated by these dollar signs is basically how excel determines that a column is meant next and we separate all the elements we want to concatenate or join together by commas next comes um, a space and the space is as easy as a quotation mark space quotation mark so now we have payment term code um, space and now we want to add the payment term description we added in the last uh, lesson with the joiner notes so once again double click it here and we now have basically our expression here this is how our formula looks like we want to have a new column we don't want to replace any column we want a new one so we call this pmt long and that's basically it so it's ready to execute let's execute it with f7 and you see all of a sudden we have now joined a joint table pmt long which combines the payment term code here from the third column with the payment term descriptions from the six ninth 10th column here basically and now we can sort this column for example by by the uh, alphabetically okay awesome you have taken another step by mastering texts and automating how they work together you can use this new skill in many ways because texts are all around us and as you have seen 
it is quite easy to manipulate text to our needs. In the next lesson, we're going to learn another mighty tool, the column filter. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.